What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Ill Will coming back with another video for you guys. Um today's video is about uh changing tempos in Logic Pro X. Um I know a lot of times you get <clears throat> Uh, projects from different artists and what they'll do is especially in hip-hop is go grab a beat toss it into uh, logic pro tools cubase whatever and just start recording and it's set at the 120 bpm default so what i'm gonna show you how to do is uh actually find the bpm and actually apply it uh, by not knowing it this can affect you a lot of ways mixing um Number one, delays. Your delays will be terribly off um, if the BPM isn't correct. Um, and some other effects, um, panning tools, things like that, like TL Panner and Pro Tools, things like that, it'll affect. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is hook y'all up, show y'all how to do this. Um, and if you like what you see, definitely hit the like button. But let's jump right into it. All right, first things first, let's bring up our mixer. Um, come down here to the track in which the MP3 bead is on whatever it may be um if you're working with tracked out track um usually go to the drum track would be the best one the kick or snare track um and actually apply this plug-in you want to come down here to metering bpm counter choose that so it'll bring up the bpm counter all right so now what we're going to do is hit the play button let this thing play and the counter will actually find out what the bpm is for you Listen, if I die one day, then please let that day be soon. Life's a bitch, I'm married to her like a bride and groom. But I'm addicted to this rap shit like a big and spoon. Heron flow, like I really don't have shit to lose. Like I don't have many decisions which I pick and choose. Alright, so there it is. It picked it up. You want to let it run for a little while. Um, and it will definitely, it'll jump around sometimes. Um, just wait for it. It'll come up with a consistent number. So once you get that number, what you want to do is, is actually you don't want to come up here and just apply it. All right. Um, if you did that, it's going to throw the tracks that are already recorded off. So what we'll do is, is actually drop down your menu here and you want to lock the SMPTE. Now, if you don't have this on there, what you want to do is right click on the menu, customize toolbar and come down here and select it okay so once you select it hit okay now what we're going to do is actually just click and drag over both tracks select them or control a if uh you want to hit that it's no big deal it will select all the tracks now you want to come up here and lock them now you know they're locked when you look at the track and you'll see these little padlock symbols okay these little icons will let you know that these tracks are locked in place all right so once they're locked in place, then you'll come up here to your BPM counter, double click, and type in the BPM you found. 71, which there it is. Boom. All right, so there it is. Um, dropped all out, and then you take a listen to it. It hasn't changed at all, just the BPM has. So when we put a delay on it, It'll actually work really, really well. No matter how hard you say you are or pretend to be, expose the bitch and you no remorse, no sympathy. Why they want to put it into me? Nowadays you wouldn't hear shit like this in the industry. Huh? Why they want to put it into me? Cause nowadays you wouldn't hear shit like this in the industry. I'm bulletproof, nigga. So there you go. Um, <clears throat> if you like the video, definitely uh, go down and hit the like but button for us. Drop me a comment if you got some questions about anything that's going on here. And... Um, that's about it. Definitely uh, check us out at audiohacks.net. Uh, we got a forum over there. And if you just need somebody to mix your music for you, holler at me. My prices are on there. Get at me. I'll hook you up. You know, might be able to work something out.